Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Good evening and welcome. Welcome to each and every one of my brothers and sisters from all around the world. I just want to thank you for being here one more evening. I want to tell you that I appreciate you studying the Word of God with us. Father God, in the name of Jesus, continue, continue to elevate, educate, and to pour out your wisdom your knowledge and your understanding upon each and every one of your brothers and my brothers and sisters upon each and every one of your children that you are so ordained to be here today again my name is dr pj from the prophetic word and today i'm going to be teaching from the topic who are the tears I'm going to be teaching from the parable of the tears and you need to understand who are the tears and I'm going to give you a little background about the tears amen I'm going to give you a little bit of the foundation so you can understand who are the tears the tears are the children of the fallen angels the children of Cain the bloodline of Satan, which is 13 families, but there are the children of the fallen angels. And let me break it down to you. In the book of Enoch, the first set of fallen angels that disobey Almighty Father came down to Mount Hermon. Mount Hermon is located in the border between Assyria and Afghanistan to this day. It is still carrying the name Mount Hermon. The name has not changed at all. Amen. God has left that geographical location with the same name for thousands of years so we can know the biblical archaeology and the biblical history of the fallen angels. As I continue from the book of Enoch, also in the book of Genesis, we have a second witness. And we have third witnesses and fourth and five and six witnesses in the Old and New Testament. Amen. These fallen angels came down at the order of Satan. They came down to destroy our mighty father plan of salvation for us. After the creation in the Garden of Eden, God already in the heavenlies already showed the plan of salvation. But Satan had to come in to try to destroy it. First himself came and tempted the woman Eve. And remember symbolically in Hebrew serpent mean like a evil tongue. Serpent mean like the serpent and the character of a serpent. Do not, they do not carry a vocal cord like us, like certain animals. And mammals they the tongue of the serpent is a wicked tongue is poisonous so he convinced the woman that she should commit naga actually the Hebrew word is naga in the Hebrew and naga mean to sexually have intercourse with another person amen so that's naga but they took it out of the Bible and you can and you need to do your research William Tinsdale wrote and translate the first Bible in the language of English why did they murder William Tyndale at the order of the modern-day Sanhedrin council and King Henry he was persecuted he was running from one country from Germany he was running for his life they had bought up the Bibles and burnt them. And they will be burning the Bibles again. So that's why we, I come on these ether waves and these social medias. And I preach the word of God and teach biblical studies and do deliverance. As we continue, we know that the Bible, that they took out certain parts of the Bible in the Council of Nice. And they took out and they add on certain things that was not supposed to be there but it's our job as people of god 
to find out the truth and to teach the truth. Once you once you get the truth, you are responsible. You got to blow your horn. So I'm blowing my horn today. Now, as we continue, we know that if you read the book of Genesis 6, you know the sons of God mean angelical beings. And they took them and what they produced, their punishment was they produced giants upon the earth, 13, 50 feet giants. They produce warriors. They produce criminology. They produce incest. They produce polygamy. They produce all kind of sickness and disease. They produce mental illness, rage. And we can read about it in the book of Genesis where God say in his word that he repented that he had created man upon the earth. He said there was so much violence on the first of this earth that God repented himself from creating mankind. And I'm reading from the book of Genesis chapter 6. And I'm going to start in verse 5. And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth and every imagination of thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. And it repented the Lord that he had made man on the earth and it grieved him in his heart. And the Lord said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast and creeping thing and the fowls of the air, for it repented me that I have made them. Amen. And that was the first influx. So God raised up the standard with the prophet Noah. So when Noah came in, you have to remember, the whole world was corrupt. So God brought the flood. He ordered Noah to build an ark to save two of each race. Me, two peers, two women, two men of each race went upon the ark. But they refused to teach it to us because they continuously lied to us. But if you don't have an old English Bible, you don't have the manuscript, so you will not know. That's why I'm teaching. We read from Genesis 6. You're going to find out in verse 11 that the earth also was corrupt before God and the earth was filled with violence. And this is going to happen again. And verse 12, it says, And God looked upon the earth, and behold, it was corrupt. All flesh had corrupt its way upon the earth. Amen. So they, all these tribes were corrupt. How they corrupt themselves? You see, when the fallen angels came, they gave their daughter into marriage. They took the dowry, the bride price, and they reproduced with these women. So, you know, can an evil tree produce a good fruit? Never. So all that what they was producing on the earth, the majority of the people were corrupt. There was, they was born with an evil criminology mindset. And you're going to find that same mindset today. Just look at Vladimir Putin. Just look at China. Just look at all these wicked Mao Zedong, Genghis Khan, Hitler. Look at the wicked mindset among you, among the community. Murder. Rape. Incest. Human trafficking, drug, drugs. The ones who invented drugs was the fallen angels. And I'm going to be teaching about that also. Fast forward, we know that God made a covenant with Noah and his family. And he, but he gave commandment to Noah. And this is what he told Noah. Because God is not a God of incest. God is not a God of polygamy. God will never ordain that to take place. Amen. There are some exceptions with Abram and his Sarai because they were brothers and sisters, but from different mothers. And there was not enough to procreate in those days. Okay. But now we're going to look back at what took place when God ordained Noah to put the male and female. This is where we miss it. And this is where they have lied to all of us. In verse 19, God commanded Noah, 18, let us start. But with thee I will establish my covenant. 
And thou shall come into the ark, thou and thy sons and thy wife, and thy sons of thy wife with thee. Amen. So the family, that Adamic race, that people that was supposed to bring forth the Messiah went on there. That he break people. Now in verse 19, God commanded him, And of every lit, of living thing of the flesh, every living thing of the flesh, I want you to keep in mind that human beings are created greater than animals and pets. Human beings have a soul. Animals do not have a soul. And Jesus Christ did not die to re redeem your dog, your cat, your monkey, your dog, your spider, your butterflies and your bird. Amen. So hear me and hear me well. Open up your spiritual ears. And of every living thing of all flesh, two of every sort, shall thou bring into the ark to keep them alive with thee. They shall be male and female. Amen. So you got from each tribe, those who were not tainted with the fallen angels, they was not tainted. They didn't have the DNA, the Gino Opla RH negative. They didn't have orange blood. They didn't have the golden blood. So two mean in that tribe, two women and two men. That means four of each tribe. That way when they procreate, there won't be no DNA and sickness. Now in verse 20, and of fowls of their kind and of cattle of their kind and of creeping thing on the earth after his kind and of every sort shall come unto thee to keep them alive. But what they tell us is lies in Sunday schools and lies to this day you got the Sanhedrin council fake and false teachers teaching lies with this verse. What they need to do is go back in the Hebrew. Go back in the Hebrew and you will see this is ethnic people in verse 19, human beings. Okay, so we're going to fast forward. So after the flood, the earth was replenished. But something happened. A whole multitude unnumbered of fallen angels landed upon the earth again. And when they came down, they came down in a grove. Like even in the book of Enoch, it doesn't tell you how much of these fallen angels came down again. And the fallen angels that came down in the second round, the second influx, they look just like every race of people. Because when God said, let us make man in our image, he was talking about all the ethnic people that he created on the six day creation. If you read Genesis 1 26, you're going to see that God created all the ethnic race in Genesis 1 26. Read it for yourself and start believing the lies that all of us came from Adam and Eve because they have lied to us. Only God can remove those evil programs from the Sanhedrin Council because the Sanhedrin Council is well alive today. So the second influx was a multitude of fallen angels. They all came down and started grabbing, raping the women. That's where the word rapere, R-A-P-E-R-E. -E. The word rapere means rape, kidnap and rape. And when they couldn't find women, they took children. They took the little girls, the little teenagers, the little boys, and they took men as wives. This is what the fallen angels did. Right? So, to this day, men are old and renowned. That gene is still alive. Because when God sent his army and he wiped out the Anakims that was down in the promised land because they refused to enter, only two, Joshua and Caleb, and then you know that Moses was punished. He never, he got to see the, far, the promised land from afar, but he never went in because of the disobedient. 40 years as Sir John Mouser in the disobedient and stiff neck. 
till God had to send the armies of the Lord came in and, and wipe out these giants. But there were still giants in the land. Because David killed Goliath who was a giant. Remember that. And then Goliath had a brother who was giants. And then you have the giant influx. And the giant influx let you know that there was parasites, jubasites, Hittites. All of these people, there was products of the fallen angels' tribes. So those tribes today, those women that they took and partake in those marriage, or they kidnap, or they rape, or they enslave, or they traffic them, those women produce children. So that gene pool is still being produced through incest and polygamy, through rape. So we have to deal today that God has really flushed down most of these giants. Now, in the black Seminoles, aboriginals of the Americas, there is a history that two ships came from Europe with the two ships had nothing but giants, women, and giant men. The majority of them was giant men, giants. So they don't talk about that in Western civilization. They try to cover up a lot of things in Western civilization. But when you have family members that are black Seminoles, and you can Google it or go on YouTube and research about the black Seminoles people, because of those people that came in after through the Queen Victoria, they are Siberians and Mongolians. They are the ones who are called Native Americans today. Today they are called Native Americans. They came from Siberia and from Mongolia. Amen? And it is in the books that there was three types of black people enslaved in America. You can go through the Library of Congress and research for yourself. The first one was the black Seminoles who saved them. The second one was the, was, the, was, the, was the Africans and the black Israelites that came here as slaves. So they brought the black Israelites and the Africans here. But they did not know how to survive in the weather. The African people did not know how to grow food in this four season. Because remember, they came from the tropic. They came from all the way from Morocco, from the east, in, the, in, 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 in hot weather, tropical, central and Western, Western Africa. They do not have the four weather, so they did not know how to store the food in the winter. They did not know how to grow the food for the winter. So the ones who taught them was the black Seminoles. Amen. So then when they came in on a rampage from Mongolia, they came with the Prussians. They came from that particular area with the guns that was given to them through the Ottoman Empire and Queen Victoria. There is a book that you can order from Amazon and I'm not, it's called The Sultan and the Queen. Order that book and learn about American history. The Sultan and the Queen. Again, my name is Dr. PJ. I'm an educator, so I like to educate. And we're going to continue. I want to give you the meat of the word. I want to break down the foundation first. So you can see this introduction. So you can learn that there are two types of people walking on the face of this earth. Why do we have all these wars, rumors of war? Why does people murder people and kill people? Why people are murdering children? Why people are drunk driving? Why people are on drugs? Why we have domestic violence? Why is so much an increase? Because the time is drawing near. The signs are here. The wars, the rumors of war, the pestilence, the the, the pale horse. The, the you know we know we 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 right there going in. Is we at the door? It is knocking at the door. And those who do not want to wake up, sleep on by and by. H e l l, sleep on by and by. They're gonna bow to the antichrist. They're gonna receive the mark of the antichrist. Many of them have received the mark of the antichrist already. That same mark that was upon the forehead of Cain. Again, this is Dr. PJ from the Prophetic Word. And this is your introductory to 
the parable of the tears the parable of the tears the parable of the tears the tears are among us you got gossipers problems people doing false witness people hanging people from trees people doing drive-by shooting those fallen angels went to every race every color every country every region every part of this atmosphere every geographical location we have murder we have rape and we have the same problems we have idolatry we have witchcraft all of that come from the fallen angels when they say they're going back to the ancestors they're worshiping demons they're worshiping the, the ancestor because they carry the gene in their blood Thank you for listening. Thank you for being here. This is Dr. PJ. And this is a little accelerated. Do your homework, please. Do your research. Father God, in the name of Jesus, continue to open up their spiritual eyes. Continue to give them the spirit of discernment, wisdom, knowledge, understanding, favor in Yeshua Mashiach. Precious name, you have a savior. Amen. I defeat you, Satan, in the name of Jesus.